Hey guys, uh, this is James, James's Boat Build. Thanks for coming back to the channel. I'm sure you're uh, anxious to see what kind of progress I've put up with or done. And uh, honestly, I haven't done much at all because uh, my uh, son and my uh, grandson and, and my, my daughter-in-law uh, have showed up. Uh, my son is uh, currently uh, stationed at uh, West Point and uh, they come down to visit for the holidays. So um, the, uh, the boat build is, uh, let me just turn around here. Uh, there we are. We're out uh, at it. We got the fans are blowing because hey, it's, man, it's summertime here in Florida. It's gonna be a little bit of work today. So uh, what I wanted to show you is uh, the breast hook. I just drilled in the breast hook. One of the most important things you could probably do is to make sure that you get it centered and uh, make sure it's in the stem onto some absolute strongest member of the boat, which in this case obviously is my laminated stem. Good place for it. I got the, uh, the biggest breast hook I could. I believe it's seven inches long, threaded uh, portion, stainless steel. It was about $30. For this item and i special ordered for a stainless steel company um i'm not sure it's located in massachusetts and um and then it just installed it uh matter of fact i'll give you a nice little look at what she looks like installed hopefully uh i can't see what i just what y'all just saw but hopefully that's uh that's good um the, uh, the reason why I left this stick up here is because, and here's something you probably might, might not think of, um, when you're trailering this boat, there's got to be a distance between where the uh, bottom of the uh, uh, keelson will be touching rollers or bunkers, or that's its ultimate height, okay, and uh, where it sits into the trailer. And then you got to figure out, well, what's the distance between... Uh, the point it's going to be touching, and then the breast hook, okay? I, the boat, uh, the um, Jeff Spira boat, the uh, V-Dory that I got, the blue V-Dory, y'all probably saw, that uh, I just lucked out. Um, it just barely makes uh, the roller um, when I'm cranking it in with the, with the uh, you know, to put it back on uh, board the, uh, the trailer. It, it fits just fine but it just barely fits. And I wanted to make sure at this point that uh, that was not gonna be the case. Now, I took my measurement from the, uh, the boat that, uh, that I have now and the trailer and a rough estimate. And it was basically 24 inches between the bottom of the boat and the first bolt hole was 24 inches. Um, I believe 24 inches on this uh, ends up being right there. So this is going to be a little bit shorter, shorter. It'll also be sitting on a bigger trailer, so I might have a bigger stem piece that, I don't know what they call that part on the boat, but uh, that, uh, the part that uh, the, there's a roller and the crank and the, the winch to, to winch it on, winch hook, I don't know what the hell they call it. No, I am an amateur and just a backyard boat builder. I have built other boats before, but, you know, I don't know, I'll be the first one to confess, I, I certainly don't know everything. And uh, this boat has been quite a challenge for me. Uh, it's a little bit more technical than the other two boats that I built. And uh, not that I'm complaining or anything, it's, it's nice to have a challenge. And I'm, I'm getting obviously, uh, you know, close. But, uh, you know, let's face it, it's, uh, I, I don't do this every day for a living. So that's, that's how she looks, guys. That's how it looks. That's how it's uh, setting. This was my morning setting up the uh, uh, the breast hook, and um, you know the I guess y'all call it the breast hook, the breast uh, I don't know the bow hook. You know, excuse me on the the, uh, the terminology of all these nautical things. Sometimes I I just get tongue twisted and whatnot, but. Um, Appreciate every one of you uh, subscribing and, and, and looking along. Uh, progress through the summer is going to be a little bit slow. I, I don't like working out in the summer heat. Obviously, you can see I got my, uh, it's still cloudy, but I still got my uh, sunshade up just to get out of the sun. 
I, uh, I'll show you. I got my I got my fans blowing on me, and that's all well and good. But uh, let's face it, uh, when you start getting the thick of the day, the heat, uh, uh -uh, not for me. So um, just bear with me. And quite honestly, guys, if it wasn't for you all subscribing and me having this channel, I probably wouldn't be working on this boat for a couple of months, to tell you the truth. Because I just don't like working out here in the summer heat. I'd rather be on my boat. Uh, you know, now that I have it, it's all built and ready to go. And it, it's, uh, but that's okay. I uh, appreciate every one of you and thank you for subscribing and uh, following. Hey, give us a big thumbs up. Tell me you like it or not. Okay? Appreciate y'all. Bye.